Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Manual. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, so last episode we ended up in the Never, and it wasn't really a good spot to be fair with you. But today we are going to be going on an adventure. So, one thought that came to mind is let's grab this sugar cane is actually getting a horse and riding him around, but. We don't have the means for that, unfortunately, because it requires a saddle, which we don't have. And I think also, I think you can feed them sugar and wheat as well, uh, which helps. But I don't think we have the means for that at the moment, unfortunately, because without a saddle, it's kind of pointless doing that. Uh, but we will get onto that later on, I think. Like many things, we will definitely get onto stuff. Um, at the moment, I think we could go exploring a bit, see what's beyond our base, because we haven't really done much exploring. We've seen what's underground, but not really what's overground. I'm not going to go too far, but I'll go far enough, because we've got enough food on us, and we've got a few blocks and stuff if we actually come into a bit of trouble, but... I do feel like exploring a bit because there are things that we could probably do with. Uh, let's kill this guy. Not necessarily resources because spruce wood is literally right outside us. But if we come across anything that is useful, then obviously I'm going to grab it. Like melons and pumpkins. Although melons might be a problem because although you can find melon seeds in villages... And also dungeons and there are other places they spawn in the only real guarantee you'll get with melons is finding melons in a jungle and I honestly haven't got a clue where anything is in this map hence why I've literally picked a random random area to go in so we're going west and look at all them sunflowers that's cool we are actually, I'm actually going to take a few of these, just just because we can get yellow dye from that. See, if I put that in my crafting bench, we can get some yellow dye, which is nice. And also, we've got a place we can get blue dye now as well. That's good, because these cornflowers turn into blue dye. It used to be that you used a lot of... Lapis Luelli, I can't even say it properly. I'm just going to say Lapis. <laughs> um, but now we've got an alternative for blue dye, which is obviously um, cornflowers. And we've hit another awesome little biome, which on its own isn't as pleasant because it's a horrible biome to be in at night. But the resources it gives you, primarily dark oak, is literally around the corner. And I can't believe that. Normally, spruce and dark oak are one of the hardest resources to get when you're just starting off a, a game. But we've got them literally on our doorstep. The only thing we can't see is jungle. Uh, is there going to be a jungle around here? <laughs> then we've got everything. Uh, that would be good, but I don't think it would happen. Maybe a woodland forest? A woodland mansion, even? Yeah, I'm gonna... They don't call them a roof forest for nothing, do they? In my biome, it says dark forest, even. But yeah, you can easily walk through... Walk on the top of these leaves quite easily in this biome. Which is really quite handy sometimes. And then you can just make your own way if you need to. This is quite a big dark oak forest, if I do say so myself. Goodbye. 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 Thank you. I'll leave the sheep. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go in this direction. Uh, I'm probably... How far am I now? I'm 500 blocks out. So I think I'm going to go another 500 blocks in this direction and if I don't come across anything interesting then I'm just going to head my way back I think. You guys are probably shouting at me that I should probably have bought myself a bed 
which thinking about it yeah i sh probably should have got myself a bed but there's some sheep here so we can get some wool from these sheep so that's two bits of wool where's another sheep that we can kill quickly and also it might be a good idea to grab some of these saplings with the oak dark oak but i think we'll be all right for now i do however sh i should probably grab some oak logs so we need a crafting table and six planks for the bed or is it free now it might be free and it's also getting dark as well so i've got to try my best to find this sheep quickly i probably should have killed one on the way here I said earlier on, ah, forget about the sheep, and now I need one. Oh, yes, we found one. Great. Let's get ourselves down here. Oh, there's even a black sheep there. Nice. So, sheep normally spawn either white, black, which are the rarer types of sheep, and also you'll see the grey variant in between them as well. And the very rarest sheep you'll find is actually a pink sheep which I've only seen once spawn in this game, but it is possible for you to spawn a pink sheep and I should probably make that bed now, hey? So let's make ourselves a crafting table for like the fifth time in the season. I'll be making more than that, I'm sure. Let's break two oak logs down into planks and then we should get ourselves a white bed recipe. Nice. Now we've got a bed, we can also bring that crafting table with us and yeah we're actually quite far out oh no we've still got like 400 blocks to explore in so that's not too bad all right ladies and gentlemen so we kind of got lucky but didn't get lucky at the same time because we come across a bee's nest here but we can't do anything with it because we don't have silk touch unfortunately so we can't Oh, even if we used our axe, it will just break and the bees will get angry at us. Uh, so they look really cool though. It's kind of unfortunate. But I think I'll just kind of mark where this is. The coordinates of it even. And come back to it as and when we actually get silk touch, I guess. And I'm still walking in a westerly direction. Uh, yeah. I'm still going west and I still really haven't come across anything. It looks like we're pretty landlocked. Normally you would have come across an ocean by now, but I haven't actually seen anything, surprisingly. Although I am just going one direction, so we haven't explored everything around us. There are also mapping tools that you can find to explore areas, which I am quite a fan of to be fair one that i'm a, a good fan of is admist uh, which actually if you know the seed of your world it will actually give you a reasonably detailed map of what your world is so this is useful for knowing biomes or trying to find biomes in your world and also structures as well because it can be quite a pain to find structures Especially if you're a creator like me. We have ourselves some pumpkins. Oh yes. I can see a pumpkin farm brewing. I do actually need to just... Yeah, they can go. Because I, I, I want these pumpkins. Alright, so I think you can just mine these with your fist and you still get a pumpkin. Yep, you do. It doesn't matter what tool you use, you still get a pumpkin. If you right click with your axe though, oh no, it's shears. So if you had some shears on us and we right clicked, you'll actually get a carved pumpkin. But now we've got some pumpkins, that's another resource ticked off our list because we can keep growing these now. All right, I'm really shocked at how lucky I've got on this seed. Keeping in mind, if you go back to season the first episode we saw on camera how I we saw I've just noticed something in the background which I didn't see before anyway <laughs> we saw that I generated this world and this seed completely randomly not knowing where anything is or any structures are going to spawn 
And as we've seen, we're near a dark oak forest, near our base, which is pretty much next to our spawn chunks. We've got ourselves an easy supply of spruce and oak logs due to the biomes we're at, which is a birch forest biome and a forest biome. We're quite close to the dark oak forest and a spruce forest or tiger biome as well. So that's the spruce wood sorted out. And as you probably could tell in that intro, there's not just a swamp there, there's a jungle over there. So we can get jungle trees, jungle wood really quite easily. The only thing we can't find is acacia. Who would have thought acacia would be the hardest to find? No, especially me. Man, have we got lucky. And you can see in the distance, there's also a pillager outpost there as well, which is really lucky. And yeah, we are a thousand blocks away from where we should be, but we're not that far away. So I think what I'm going to do is try and get as close as I can to that village outpost and get ourselves the coordinates for it. And then at least get ourselves a few jungle tree saplings. You wouldn't know it from looking at it back there, but this one's quite buried in the forest, to be fair with you. We are getting up close to it, I think. Uh, but we've got to be really careful with pillagers because that outpost spawns pillagers around it which is not what we want to come after us at this stage of the game although we've got a bit more protection with our enchantments i still want to try and keep my life at least see how far we can go without dying and he saw me straight away i'm gonna have to kill this guy hopefully there's none of us on us no i can't see any more so that's good right he's dead nope Ah, oh, there's two more on us. There's another guy there. Damn it. Dead. Right. Die. Die. Thank you. Oh, that was close. Right, I need to get a screenshot of where this is before any more come after me. So, F, F, F3, F2, F3 again to get that away. And hopefully I can make out what this is from the screenshots. So now we've done that, we know where that is for future reference. That's also a tip is mark things if you know where they are so that you can come back to them because this game is infinite and you do forget <laughs> where things are in this game. So it's a good thing to mark out things as well. So yeah, also, we should probably get away with from that as well. And uh, about time to sleep, I think. And we're in a jungle, are we? We're in a jungle edge already. We found the jungle. Man, this is getting on. We are literally at like one of the best starts in Minecraft you can get. <laughs> Quite honestly, I couldn't even imagine this brilliant start in a survival world. But there we have it, and we're literally right next to jungle trees. So I'm going to chop these few trees down so that we can get ourselves some saplings. All right, so I've cut down about five or six little jungle trees, and we've got seven jungle saplings out of it. So that's on average, literally one jungle sapling each tree and one of them must have dropped two of them by chance so that means you, you really don't get many uh saplings from these guys another thing that i should probably pick up as well is that on the floor so let's get rid of them sticks that's some cocoa beans as well so we're getting to growing them later on i think i'll probably move on to that next episode but Let's just grab a few more cocoa beans because I saw some over there. So these are cocoa beans. These are actually fully grown cocoa beans. But as you can see, this one, this one right here isn't quite fully grown. So they do have uh, growth stages, but you can only find these in jungle biomes as well. So it's the only place you can get brown dye from. So I'm going to grab a few of these. And you also might have noticed next to us, 
there's also this this is called bamboo this is what we need to make scaffolding out of and there's also other uses for it as well and we can easily farm this stuff so that's actually a godsend because i wasn't expecting to find bamboo here and we found it this is why the jungle is kind of a really good place to be <laughs> so let's get rid of the sweet berries and grab this bamboo we should be able to just whack it with a sword and it drops nice awesome we got four four five bits of bamboo from that six bits of bamboo from that even and we can easily replant it by just planting it like so and that will then grow a new shoot so that's bamboo that's also cocoa beans you can also make cookies from these as well i think i might actually have enough to do it <laughs> considering i've randomly got wheat on me can i make some cookies i can't remember there we go i can make some cookies so the cookie recipe is two bits of wheat and one bit one cocoa beans and that gives you eight cookies and we can actually make two of them <laughs> great we've got some cookies now <laughs> kind of pointless but we've got some and fish oh nice we've found finally found an ocean but it's probably a bit too late in the episode to explore any further than this one thing that we should probably get as well are these melons <laughs> I was talking about melons and how hard they they are to get as well literally a few minutes ago and we've got some so I need to figure out what to get rid of in my inventory and I don't think we need that sword anymore to be honest with you so let's break this and we've got ourselves some melon slices great so you can actually eat these if you want to as well so melon slices will give you one haunch on the hunger bar but what i'm going to do is just turn them into seeds like that <laughs> and let's just farm as many or oh, as many let's just farm these let's get rid of you pick these up turn them into seeds and then we can pick our axe back up or our flowers that we threw over there awesome all right ladies and gentlemen so with that i think i am going to leave it there for this episode next episode if i'm not back at my base by then then we will trek it back to our base there's even a witch hut over there <laughs> oh my god this couldn't even get any better i didn't even see that jeez man oh i am so glad that i that we're on this map because it is so good we are going to have so much fun and it is just going to be amazing so thank you very much for watching my name is mighty high if you like this video then please click the like button and if you really liked it then click the subscribe button and ding that bell for further uploads i've been mighty high and thank you very much for watching good